guys. Welcome to the Differentiators. My name is Aditya and I'm very excited to tell you that this is a new playlist named Book Recommendations that we have started where we talk about certain books that could help anyone in any walk of life. So before we get started, uh, if you have liked the videos that we've uploaded so far, do hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you receive notifications whenever a new new video comes out. So in our first episode of book recommendations, we have Mindset by Dr. Carol S. Dweck, who is one of the leading researchers in personality and psychology. In this book, she mainly talks about two mindsets. First one is the fixed mindset. Second one is the growth mindset. Now let's break down each of them. We will start with the fixed mindset first. Just before we start off, I would just like to highlight that although the slides are prepared by us, the ideas taken are directly from the book. So let's start with the fixed mindset. Uh, in this mindset, people believe that their intelligence is fixed and cannot be improved. They have reached a certain level and they believe that they'll always stay there no matter what happens. They always believe that they cannot improve beyond their current level. Next question is, what are the behaviors associated with this mindset, right? Because, because these people believe that they cannot get any better, they will not work hard or put in the efforts to improve themselves. They need a constant sense of validation from the outside world to prove that their intelligence is at a certain level. When things go against them, they find excuses to protect themselves. They shy away from taking responsibilities and ownership for their actions. Finally, when they see someone successful, they become insecure and lose their confidence in their own abilities. Now let's move to the growth mindset. In the growth mindset, people believe that intelligence is not a gift, but it is something that can be developed over time with effort and perseverance. They always have a desire to constantly seek knowledge and to improve and grow to become the best version of themselves. When things go against them, backing down is not an option since effort and work ethic will take them forward on a daily basis. They enjoy each other's success because they're curious to seek answers about successful journeys so that they incorporate the same in their own life. They may not be blessed with natural ability because of which they may be poor in carrying out certain tasks at this point of time, but that does not mean that they will stay there always. They will get better, maybe not immediately, but eventually. They will be better than what they were when they started. To illustrate the growth mindset, let's take example of Kobe Bryant, legendary basketball player and five-time NBA champion. When Kobe Bryant was 10 or 11 years old, he was terrible when he competed against players of the same age. One summer, he was not able to score a single point in a basketball game. But just a few years later, he became the best player in the state. Let's hear it from his own words as to how this was possible. If you want to be a great player, if you play every single day, two, three hours, every single day, over the course of a year, how much better are you getting? Most kids will play maybe, you know, an hour and a half, two days a week. Right. For Do the math season, on that. It's not, it's, not going, it's not going to get it done. <laughs> it's not going to get it done. Right? So if you're obsessive, obsessive, obsessively training two, three hours every single day over a year, over two years, you're going to accelerate. You make quantum leaps. So that was the video, guys. Hope you liked it. Before we sign off, let me ask you this. This is the most important question in the video. Which mindset do you want to develop? Fixed or growth? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We have a lot more interesting content coming out. So until next time, it's goodbye.